This is an ultra famous book. It's called Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding and it was written by Arnold Schwarzenegger and this book is super thick. Look how thick this is and it's heavy. You can use this instead of a five pound dumbbell. I mean, it's just so thick. So I wanted to make this video not because I think the book is awesome because I think it is awesome, but this book has inspired a lot of people, I think. There are a lot of people in the world who have read this book, I'm sure, and they have tried the routines in this book, and we're going to talk about that, and we're going to look at the routines because they are pretty hardcore. I have tried the routines in this book, and I will let you know my results uh, shortly. <laughs> so when we look at that, um, very, very interesting. Anyways, I digress. Great book. It is an inspiration to many, and let's take a look at it. So there's another one, by the way. It's called The New Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding. I don't have that one, and I've never owned that one, so I think that might be like a revised edition. I haven't checked. This is a book I've had for a very long time. Let's jump. Um, let's skip the contents for now because this book basically has everything. <laughs> so just assume it has everything, and let's just go to the basic training program because that's really fun, and I want to just show you the stuff that I really like from this book. Um, it's just really cool. It's just a really cool book. So I thought, you know, the basic training program, me at 19, that's Arnold and he was 19. Yeah, Arnold and he was 19. And then this is Dave Draper at 19. I did not look like these guys at 19. <laughs> so, so there's the front view of the body and the back view. That's interesting. Okay, so here's the level one exercise program. Okay, so I've tried this and I've tried some of the other routines. So Monday and Tuesday you do chest, back, and abs. Okay, and here it says sets and reps. Always do five sets of eight to 12 reps each unless otherwise specified. Okay, let's talk about this. So you're going to do five reps of bench, five reps of incline, of incline press, five reps of pullovers. It doesn't say dumbbell, so I'm assuming it's barbell pullovers, hardcore. Chin-ups, do as many reps as a time as you can until you reach a total of 50 reps. That's right. So if you can only do one chin-up at a time, um, that's going to be really, really tough. A lot of people can't do chin-ups. Bent over rows. Power training, deadlifts, three sets of 10, six, four reps to failure, hardcore. Leg raises, five sets of 25 reps. Just so tough. And then here's level two. Level two is just even just more intense, right? It's just even you know, way, way more intense. These guys were working out uh, twice a day, you know, and that's just crazy. And it's crazy because um, you, you can't recover. So I tried the level one exercise program in this book and another program in another one of his books. And I, I could do it for like a week. You know, and after a week, I'm like, I'm destroyed. And you take a day off, right? You do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You have Sunday off. You got to go work out Monday. You can't, you can't move, right? I mean, you just did, you know, all these, all these, you know, sets. And I guess I think the trick is, and I've never tried this, but you got to start maybe really light because if you're doing that much volume, I mean, that's a lot, right? It's a lot of, that's a lot of sets and reps. Um, that's more than is, you know, typical in books. You know, it's, it's a crazy routine. Um, I have read countless forum posts on the internet that talk about how crazy this routine is, you know, just for years. Uh, and I think that it's a, it's a well-known fact, right, that the routines in this book are just really hardcore. Shoulder exercises, Arnold Press. Yeah, Arnold Press is a fun one. That's good for shoulders. Oh, yeah, that's, that's one I actually do. Press behind the neck. I haven't done that in a long time. Look at some of these exercises. Dumbbell press. Wow. Wow, that guy looks strong, right? Wow, looks like a lot of weight too. Super strong. Military press. Clean and press. So here's the clean and press. You gotta clean it, pull it up, and then press. That's fun if you have a barbell and you have room to do it and you know how to do it. It's kind of a fun exercise, you know. It's one of those power movements. Push press. Standing lateral raise. This is one that I do when I work out. It's one of the ones. It's, you know, it's easy. It's an easy one to do. Oh, this is interesting. One arm cross cable lateral. This is one I haven't done. Yeah, last time I was at the gym, I was doing some cable work. Uh, 
one of my friends at the gym, he's, he's really big. He's actually a bodybuilder. He's preparing for a competition. And um, he showed me some stuff with the cables. If you have a weak point in the rear delts, bending forward slightly while doing cable laterals works this area in addition to the side delts. Yeah, Arnold, Arnold will say stuff like, you know, it's like art. You know, you, you want some more deltoid. You put it on like an artist, except you got to like, you know, lift a little bit to do it. Um, yeah, crazy. Seated one arm cross cable laterals. Yeah, a lot of cable movements. A, a lot of a lot of a lot of movements here, right? It is called the encyclopedia. So it's got pictures, it's got explanations. Um, there's what is this posing competition program? Oh yeah, it's got like competition weak point training. That's Serge Nubre. I believe he he passed away. Serge Nubre has developed one of the most balanced chests in the world with every one of the pectoral areas in complete proportion to the rest. Serge Nubre. Hmm. Talking about the outer chest, posing and flexing, power training. I mean, it really has everything. It even has a lot of stuff on stretching, which I think is interesting. Uh, let's go to that section because a, a lot of people, um, they don't think stretching is... Um, important here I think this is the section on stretching yeah stretching exercises right here we go yeah, side bends right side bends I think it talks about stretching I've read this before in the past yeah stretching one of the most neck here it is let's read this one of the most neglected areas of the workout even among experienced bodybuilders yeah because it's not fun right is stretching I don't like stretching if you watch a lion as he wakes from a nap and gets to his feet you will see immediately immediately stretches his whole body to its full length, readying every muscle, tendon, and ligament for instant and brutal action. The lion knows instinctively that stretching primes his strength. You know, Arnold's always talking about lions. Um, he really is. In his movie, Pumping Iron, uh, he actually makes another lion reference um, in the scene where they're lying on the beach. How do I know that? Because I've seen the movie several times. So stretching exercises, side bends, forward bends, that's a common one I think that people do still. Hamstring stretches, that's not one I've done, but that's good, right? So a lot of stretching. Lunges. Feet apart forward bends. Huh. Inner thigh stretches. Yeah, so most people hate this stuff. They don't like stretching. Um, yoga is very popular nowadays. Um, so, you know, that's like a more fun way to stretch, I guess, than just like doing stretches. There's Arnold competition program. I think we saw this already. Let's go to something else. Let's take a look at somewhere else in this book. Leg exercises, squats. Here's one that I'm really weak at. I'm really bad at squats. I'm generally not really that strong or athletic, uh, but squats, I'm, I'm really weak. There's a lot of people that can squat a lot. I have a friend, he can squat, I think it's like 345 pounds. Um, yeah, and he weighs just as much as he weighs, same weight as me. Heavy squats half squats it says here let's read let's read what it says about the squats here it says your squat technique will vary a lot depending on your physical proportions right because of my height whenever i do heavy squats i am forced to bend forward quite far bringing my lower back very strongly into the exercise ideally you should do squats with your back as straight as possible bodybuilders like franco colombo and tom plant these guys are shorter can do this easily with the rear end and bar in about the same line when, when coming down with the weight instead of the way i do it bar way forward and the rear end stuck out toward the back. This is why I have always included a lot of front squats in my routine in order to make certain I isolate the quadriceps. Interesting, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, wow, machine squats. Yeah. Wrapping the knees when you do heavy squats raises the hydrostatic pressure within the joint and helps to prevent joint or ligament injury. Hmm. Front squats, those are even harder, right? Because you have to have the bar there. So typically you do less weight when you do front squats. I've done those like once or twice. I saw them on the internet a long time ago and I thought, oh, I, should, I should try those. And I tried them and they're, they're pretty tough. Like it's not something that I really enjoy. I, I do lunges. I love lunges. I do dumbbell lunges though. At my uh, current gym, um, it's just more equipped and easier. It's really small. So dumbbell lunges are the way to go there. Leg extensions, leg curls. I hurt my knee once doing leg extensions on the machine. Really weird. So I, I don't, I don't do those very often anymore. Standing leg curls. St 
straight leg deadlifts. I like these. Why wow, he goes down really far. He's really flexible. You see how far he goes? And that's, that's, yeah. To work the leg biceps. Yeah, that, that's the hamstring, I believe. That's what he's saying. This movement gives the maximum possible strength to the leg biceps. <laughs> I'm assuming he's talking about the hamstring. If you're watching this video, please let me know. What do you think? Is By leg biceps, does he mean hamstring here? I guess I could Google it, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it means hamstrings. Take hold of the barbell. So zoom in so you can see this. Take hold of a barbell as for deadlifts and come up to a standing position. Keep your legs locked and bend forward from the waist with your back straight until your torso is about parallel to the floor, the bar hanging at arm's length below you, right? And then basically, you want to basically pull up with your, um, you know, you're using, you're using your you're using your leg biceps, as Arnold calls them, or your hamstrings to pick the weight up in some sense. You're kind of using your your hamstrings to propel you know propel you back up. At least that's how I do it. I, I can definitely feel it in the hamstring when I do it. So I uh, assume I'm doing it right. Training the calves. That's a tough one too. Yeah, the, my calves uh, have grown best when um, I've walked long distances on inclined surfaces. So, um, so yeah, that's that's my that's for me. People respond differently, right? Some people um, will grow, you know, with different types of movements, and some people won't. Chris Dickerson, Reg Park, stretching the calves. Beginning program. What else we have here? More calf stuff. Muhammad Makawi. You know, all kinds of pictures of uh, bodybuilders in this book. So this is a cool book. Um, if you, you know, are into working out. Oh, he even has diet. Check this out. How to gain or lose weight. <laughs> right. So talks about like you know losing weight, gaining. It's got all kinds of stuff in here. So I'll leave a link in the description to this video if I can find this book. And yeah, that's it. So I wanted to show you this classic book. Take care.